Okay, we're back on Stanley Creek. And I've been on this road before coming to these waterfalls up here. I just remembered it because I, I remember taking pictures of some of these um, little shacks here. But I didn't realize this road went all the way out. But like right up here where you see these cars parking, there's a hiking trail and you go back to these waterfalls. I took pictures there. It's pretty neat. This will keep going to uh, Cherry Log. That's a little hill climb there for you. Not doing it. Boy, it's crowded back here. It's good we're skinny. This is the little area that normally, if you come here during the week, you can see all the people, they hike up here, and they're really pretty falls. I forget the name of the falls. I could stop there to tell you, but I'm not going to. That's the trail right there. That's Benton McKay Trail. It's a half mile hike to the falls. It's a, it's a fun little... Uh... Now I've never gone any further than this because I came the last time specifically for just to go to those waterfalls. Now, I'm glad I didn't come today to take pictures of the waterfalls because, you see all these people? Guess what? All these people are in your way. So you gotta come during the week. But this is pretty hard packed um, gravel. It's, you know, this is no big deal. This is a great little road if you're just getting into dual sporting. Um, you can come out here and get a feel for the gravel. I do believe there's camping. You can you can camp back here. So it just hit me when I saw a couple of those cabins. It's like, wait a minute, I've been on this road. And then it all came to me. It's like, oh, that's where those waterfalls are. getting to be a, a little washboardy in there. Stand your ass up. Yeah, everybody and their cousin is out today. But, you know, that's the way it is. If you're a working person, you can only play on the weekends. It's really dry. When you see all of the trees and bushes are just caked with dirt. Aska trails. That's for hiking, not dirt biking. This is all national forest as far as I know. Now I don't know 
what the deal is with that little road. I don't know if that's, I didn't see a mailbox, so I, I don't know if it's just another forest service or what the deal is. This goes for about eight miles before it goes out to um, 76 or 515 or whatever. I'm surprised I haven't seen any other dual sports out here. Everybody's going to the waterfalls. I'm gonna take their picture in front of the waterfalls. Now it goes back to paved. The gravel was short-lived. But this is sort of a rough paved here. Rough paved. And now we have gravel again. It's all okay, it's just you know, if you had to stop, good luck. You can stop, you just can't stop normal. It cracks me up, these people with cars, they are like so super cautious. It's like, I'm only taking up maybe like a foot of the road, people. They act like a school bus is coming at them. You're under the canopy here. In the summer, it's actually cool back here because you don't have that direct sun right on you. The road is relatively maintained. I mean, it's not all rutted out. Some roads like Flatlands can get, oh, terrible. Because the Jeeps really tear it up. They rut it all out in erosion. And um, some people call that a challenge. I call it a pain in the butt. I don't know what this little area here is. This is Rich Mountain. Road close. George Wildlife Resources Division. Rich Mountain. Oh, if you want to know where Rich Mountain is, there you go. Nobody's there. I see an outhouse in the woods. Or maybe it's a pump station or something. I don't know. Alright. The way the sun comes through here, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nice back here. But all the trees up to about eight feet are just covered in um, dust. Oh, we got a mountain biker. Good for you, buddy. It's actually a lady. I don't know, I like two wheels, but if they don't have a throttle, I don't usually get on them anymore. My bicycle days, pretty much over. I am really putzing along here, I'm just like delirious. Well, I don't have to be anywhere. This is sort of the way I like to travel where there's no like, hey, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. You know, it always cracks me up. I see people post these things about, you know, they do the Smoky Mountain 500 and they're like, oh, I think I can do it in two days. It's like, why? But, you know. There's a nice little cabin. A couple people live here. I see three mailboxes. Ein, zwei, drei houses. 
Oh, fourth house. Imagine that. Some of these cabins are elaborate. Some look more off-grid. They're like vacation homes. They don't look like they're permanent resident kind of places. Yeah, this road has a little bit of twisty action going on. That was another kind of little road there, but it had a wire across it. Now we have some fields and meadows. Horses. That's a big cabin back yonder. I've been basically just idling on this road. It's been for the most part downhill coming this direction. If you're coming from Blue Ridge up to the other way, I guess it's more uphill. Obviously, right? Now we have some sunshine. Leaves are really turning here in Georgia, more so. Well, I don't know. I guess it's about the same. I don't know if we're going to have a real colorful foliage this year or whether it's just going to go brown and so-so. Somebody had a big garden in there. Big fence up to keep the, the deer out. This is relatively graded, pretty smooth road. I don't see too many potholes that if you're not paying attention will bounce you off your bike. So this is a nice little stroll of a road if you don't want anything that you have to think on. You just come back here and do a little gravel action. That's, that's what we're doing today. We got a little twisty action and some slide action on this gravel. Now up here, I saw another person's video saying that this was a historical barn up here. This one right here. I guess it goes back a ways. If you're in the old barns, that's a nice old barn, but I'm too lazy to get off the horse here and take a picture of it. I'm really anxious to get my rear rack because like now I have my tool roll in my backpack and I really don't want to have my tool roll on my backpack. That is something that'll stay in the saddlebags. Rock Creek Court. Oh, look at those little creatures. Decorated for Halloween. It's a nice little road. Like I said, if you're just getting into uh, doing dirt and gravel to look this road up and actually now we're back on asphalt so much for the gravel but it was a little bit there a couple miles for you it wasn't it wasn't real loose that's the pain in the ass gravel when it's like two or three inches deep it's like you're riding on uh, marbles it's as bad as sand it can be But all that gravel that we were just on is like not a big deal. Maybe if you've never ever ridden it, it might freak you out a little bit, but it's uh, nothing really.
lot of little a lot of traffic on this road so you want to stay in your lane if you don't want to become a hood ornament Sunday drivers out today and I'm one of them going underneath right now. Festival. Cherry Log Community Club. Cherry Log Avenue. Five fifteen above us. Old State Road Five. I don't really want to. It just takes you out to that. I, I want to go. Um, I want to go up here a little ways. So I'm, I'm looking. Oh, wait a minute. 
I think that road that I'm looking for is off of 515, so I better go that way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me see here. That Lucius Road is off of 76, so I have to go back if that's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to end this video, and if I find that road that I'm looking for, and if it's decent, I'll slap it back on, but, um... Other than that, this is pretty uneventful. So over and out right for now, my friends. We're going to look for Lucius Road, and if I can find it, we'll bring you back online. Otherwise, uh, we're going to end this spectacular publication. Okay, ride safe.